Welcome back to the channel, y'all. It's your boy Josue here at Josue's Exotics. And today I told you I had a special video ready for you guys. So make sure you stay tuned, subscribe to the channel, and hit the like button. So here's the story behind what happened. I had to come outside because I want to get a little bit of fresh air and, you know, do other things. But anyway, so I woke up this morning and I was doing a little bit of snake care, you know, usual thing after making breakfast. And I go, happened to go over to the garter snake cage and I was like, well, something looks a little off. And I look around and tell me why I see little faces staring at me from all over the place. I was like, I can't believe these are baby garter snakes. Because I know for a fact that when I ordered them offline that I got two female garter snakes. Particularly because I didn't want to have any babies. And I didn't want to have more than one of them because they get along better that way. But, lo and behold, I guess one of them is a male. So, I guess from that point on, we're just going to see what we can do for them. I um, guess we'll find out something to do with them. So yeah, here we go. So this is the thing today. I woke up this morning... And I see little baby garter snakes. Definitely wasn't expecting this one considering I thought I bought two female garter snakes. But, yeah, let's take a closer look at the babies. So in my research of getting these guys, I found out like if you ever had this happen, the best thing to do is go ahead and take everything out the enclosure and try to pull out as many of them as you can that you can see. one and these guys actually give live birth uh, they have the eggs inside of them and then they hatch let's put this little guy in here there's another one the little guy we'll get some close up shots in a little while They'll probably be all in here somewhere. You got to move around all this bedding and check everywhere. because These guys are so small, they can hide almost anywhere. Look, there's a whole group of them here. Someone's trying to get away. Gotcha. So yeah, we gotta check through all of this. Trying to hide. Got him. Yep, there's another one. Another baby. I did find one stillborn, so that's not good, but, uh-oh. I 
There he is. You know. So these are the baby garters. A whole bunch of them. See if I can get a couple close-up shots on the video. They all have that dot on their head, too. This one is the mom of all the little babies. As you can tell, this one has a little bit of red on the sides. If you can there, see it. There it is. So this is the other one that I have. I haven't really came up with any names with them yet, so if you guys want to name them anything, just send me some comments, and we can figure out what we want to name them. Yeah, just another northern garter snake. I'm still in awe about all this, by the way. That's why I'm, I'm kind of speechless, because I wasn't really prepared for this. All right, so we got mom and dad, apparently, back in their cages, and we got them set back up, cleaned up, fresh water and all that good stuff, too, and got them taken care of, mate, and also fed them today, so they should be good to go now, especially after going through, I guess, childbirth. So, yeah. All right, so this is what we got going on with the baby garter snakes. I just went and got some Sterilite bins, and I went in and put them inside of it so that way they can go and have them somewhere to be for a little while while I figure out what to do with them. Uh, I just put some cypress mulch in the bottom and put some cork bark in there just to kind of give them a place to hide and get something to rub around because they're probably going to be shedding real soon. And uh, as far as feeding, I'm probably going to have to get them some earthworms of some type because with them being as small as they are, they're not really going to eat anything else. So yeah, well, I'll give you a close up what the inside looks like in just a second. So yeah, this is the new baby garter snake setup. Uh, I like it so far. I mean, it's just something temporary and something quick I just kind of threw together. I just threw a quick little made hive that I had uh, with some little green foliage and like a little piece of cork bark and hopefully they can enjoy that as of right now. Uh, I only put, uh, I think four in one of them and I put five in the other. I only think I had nine all together. Uh, two of them died, so. I think this is going to be their home for a little while until I can find somebody I can give them away to. But if not, I guess I'll keep them. I'm not sure. Alright, so that's pretty much it for today's video. Uh, I'm still kind of speechless and surprised with this whole scenario that's going on with the snakes and all. So. I guess I gotta get a new tank soon and separate those two so that way I don't have any more babies show up. But yeah, make sure you guys subscribe to the channel, hit the like button, turn on your notifications, and it's your boy Josue here at Josue's Exotics, signing off.